five, four, three, two, one. As if competition on Earth wasn't enough, humanity has assumed their role to slowly take over the realms outside of our world. We're talking about none other than the race to space between two major contenders, SpaceX and Blue Origin, or rather Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. However, another prominent upcoming name in the space travel industry is Virgin Galactic, owned by Richard Branson. So, as these three men launch their dream to conquer the solar system unknown to humankind, it seems to have become a personal mission to succeed. Hi, and welcome back to Tech in Check. In today's video, we will talk about this hyper-exclusive race to space that seems to have taken the billionaire world by storm. Let's take a look at each company, their struggles, and how far they've gone in their space journey. Which contestant is more likely to win this race? Where is the end of the line? Keep watching to find out. The Rise in Space Travel It only seems like yesterday when reaching the moon seemed like an impossible feat, and witnessing the moon landing was a marvel in its own right. However, as times change, it seems that the moon isn't a big enough target anymore. Space billionaires are looking to venture to other planets. Go big or go home seems to be their motto. With Elon Musk claiming to one day live on Mars and Jeff Bezos foreshadowing a future in space, given the Earth's finite resources, it's downright intriguing to visualize a future according to their perspective. While each company kickstarted its career in the early 2000s, roughly around the same time, there seems to be success seeping in since last year. Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic both launched their very first crew launch to space in 2021, earning Blue Origin a Guinness World Record too. SpaceX wasn't too far behind either, and sent four private citizens to space in September 2021. With each of these businesses making space travel accessible for regular citizens, previously reserved for government astronauts, it's creating new business opportunities and creative ways to generate revenue. SpaceX enters the game. Wednesday, September 15, 2021 saw Elon Musk finally dipping his feet into private space travel, as he sent out the Inspiration4 mission without any professional astronauts accompanying the travelers. His launch marked a new era of rich scientists, space fanatics, and business people to pay their way to space without a relevant degree in hand. When it comes to their main objective, SpaceX aims to make interplanetary travel a reality. Just like a trip to Las Vegas, this future may hold a trip to Mars. Not too shabby, am I right? Anyways, the private space travel under the Inspiration4 mission featured billionaire Jared Isaacman and three fellow travelers that he got to choose, including cancer survivor Haley Arsenault, data engineer Christopher Sembrowski, and geoscientist Sean Proctor. What's unique about the Inspire4 mission is the 360-degree view the passengers got as they wandered 360 miles away from Earth. SpaceX installed a glass dome for the experiential trip of its paying passengers, perfect for a holiday getaway when all earthly destinations seem too bland. Although all efforts didn't go in vain, the space trip was planned as a fundraiser for St. Jude Children's Hospital to help them research children with cancer. Who cares if people are spending millions to purposely travel into space, as long as it's for the greater good of society, right? Blue Origin's Origin Story and Success Founded by the Amazon mastermind Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin started its journey back in 2000, when space travel was reserved for a few. With their eyes on the moon and space travel business in particular, Blue Origin went all in. After multiple investments, experiments, setbacks, and challenges, the world finally saw the billionaire emerging successful in his space venture. Blue Origin was finally taking flight into space on October 1, 2021, on board the New Shepard, named after Alan Shepard, the first American in space. This wasn't any ordinary launch, of course. Jeff Bezos had to be on board with his brother Mark Bezos, Wally Funk, and Oliver Damon. 
But this launch didn't just break through as the first suborbital trip carrying paying customers. Jeff Bezos had to leave Earth with a bang, setting multiple world records. Wally Funk, aged 82, set a new record for the oldest person to travel to space, defeating the previous champion, John Glenn, who traveled at 77 on board NASA's STS-95 mission. This journey also saw the first siblings traveling to space, the Bezos brothers themselves. Another interesting thing, Oliver Damon, aged 19, also successfully set the record of being the youngest person to travel to space. He's currently a university student majoring in physics, so this trip was the learning experience of a lifetime. Luckily for him, the original bidder for the seat ended up backing out last minute, which made way for Oliver. If you're meant to go, even $28 million won't get in your way. Virgin Galactic Unsure Future The rivalry between Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin intensified after Jeff Bezos launched the second mission of the New Shepard spacecraft, carrying the iconic Star Trek actor William Shatner. Shatner played the role of Captain Kirk in the franchise, so it only made sense that the veteran actor got to live out his acting dreams in real-life space. Virgin Galactic saw a big milestone in its career as the first full crew mission completed its trip to space with the founder Richard Branson on board. The VSS Unity saw its fourth rocket-powered spaceflight in 2021, with a team of pilots and astronauts helping complete the journey. After arriving back to Earth, Richard Branson spoke about the outer-worldly experience, quite literally. He spoke about testing the experience for future endeavors that would carry private customers, and he can guarantee the journey is totally worth it. In fact, it turns out Elon Musk was one of Branson's earliest backers. He bought his ticket on Virgin Galactic all the way back in 2006, according to a former Virgin Galactic executive. Virgin Galactic was set to launch their second full crew mission, Unity 23, in the fall of 2021. Yet there seemed to be slight hiccups along the way, as the mission carrying the Italian Air Force on the suborbital spaceship has been indefinitely delayed to 2022. Before embarking on a rigorous trip, extensive tests and quality assurances are always carried out on the spacecraft, including material and wear. While this is regular protocol, unfortunately for the budding company, one such test flagged certain materials used in the spacecraft joinery that needed further evaluation. The company stressed its vision and determination towards quality, which is why they couldn't permit the mission to go through. As the team tirelessly works to enhance the VSS Unity, they're likely to get done with all needed changes by mid-2022. Despite slight delays, the company remains hopeful towards 2022 with abundant new opportunities and more round trips to space and back. A race without a winner? Between the battles to emerge as the superior travel experience, these three top names continue to one-up each other. With private customers, celebrities, and new records being broken, it's a tireless game where each company gets its five minutes of fame with each step. Most people aren't complaining, as they get to take their pick between witnessing various travel excursions through their device screens and live the experience secondhand. It's THE space after all. You can't play it down. Plus, most of these companies broadcast their missions for the world to see and admire, which helps feed into the hype. Although there is an opportunity cost to the entire scenario, some people fear that humans might pollute space with the same greed depleting the Earth's natural resources. Things seem to be going awry on our planet, from climate change and deforestation to world hunger and political unrest. While some look outside their galaxy for hope and comfort, many think investing the billions wasted on space travel into our motherland is more important. What do you guys think? Whose side are you on? Share your thoughts in the comments section below and let us know what you would like to see next. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon to get notified the moment a new video comes out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.